That's pretty neat. I need to go outside and experience the outdoors. It's been a minute since I've felt the sun on my face. Just had some delicious South Texas breakfast tacos down here. The, uh, the Demo Ranch. When I was a camera guy, I lived down here in this area. I lived in, in, in San Antonio for a couple of years. I've probably shared that on this channel, but there's probably a lot of you that always think, well, you know, that old Lake Fork guy, he's from East Texas down in there in the Piney Woods, or uh, he's up there in that North Texas. Maybe he's in Central, maybe he's in College Station. I've lived kind of in every quadrant of the state except for out west. Is that outlaw? No. It's Yo! <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. That was a good yellow. It does. He even got that walk. I got like swag. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. You kind of got to swing your hips like this and just get it. Here it is. Oh, that was majestic the way that just happened. Let her rip, tater chip. Howdy, y'all. Oh, I like this. What? Yeah, someone sent that. Fan sent that thing to me. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I oh, need. Cat? Where'd that cat come from? Were you sleeping in my Dang car? Ain't a whole lot there for me. Definitely need a lot more water for me to get out there. Oh, Callie. She probably slept in the car. Got my seat all hairy. I need a woodshed. Yeah. Like I need. I love it. We built all this, this. stuff. This was just a horse stall. Pretty handy. Now it's a wreck though because we went driving the car yesterday, so the helmets are all everywhere. Oh. Got your tools organized like a real man. Sort of. They're usually cleaner, but it's. I like to keep a nice tool chest and workshop and bench and everything. Got a couple of yakkers up there. Yeah, I made that hanger. Dang. My yak hanger. Rob and I, we got some good memories in those. Oh yeah. Rob was upside down in most of those memories, mm. but that sounded dirty and I did not mean to sound dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you should have heard the woodshed thing this yeah, morning. Oh, we'll take you out to the woodshed, boy. That doesn't no. sound right. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been in a go-kart? Uh, these cows, no. You want to ride in one right now? I want to ride in one. All right, yeah. I want to on. feel the power. Take the cowboy hat on and put a helmet on. Okay. I meant to say take the cowboy hat off, but I had a lot of yeah. coffee and it's doing weird things to me. Maybe I can hole. put it on top. I've already been told all the clock I was born in this hat, so it ain't coming off. Uh, Rob, you want to rip is, some carts, well, man? This is what you need to rip. This is so <laughs> scary. I this. want to. That's. I need to start on the kitty train, no. basically, is that what I right where I need to go. It's like, your wife would probably think twice about letting you ride that. Yeah. What kind of fishing pole is this, Matt? Oh, I was trying to catch the whale fish. Actually, that's a gas pump to get it out of these barrels and into my truck. This is the nightmare. Look at it. Look at it. Just soak it up. Just look at it. All right, I'll start it up for you. you Can I get know, right here? The fishing freaks need to hear. Yes, they do. What this thing sounds like. Hope it starts up. It's a cold morning. It's going to be dirty. Oh. Am I good? Am I good? Oh, yeah. Is it gonna blow, yeah, blow right my here. drums out? Yeah, no, it won't do that. It'll, you'll be startled. If it starts. <laughs> well, it's going. Feel it. It's about it's a chilly run. night. Come on, nightmare. That just hurt my feelings, hurt my soul. It's about to make my hat stiff. Alright, we'll get you we'll get you charged up. About to rip this blue cart right here in a helmet. This seems like just a lot of headwear coming at you, but I promise the cowboy hats could stay in. I don't know the last time I drove a golf cart. This isn't a golf cart. It's this a is, go cart. It is called a go-kart. A Trailmaster 150. 150 cc's of <sighs> They say these things flip, so that's why I have to wear a helmet. So let's hope that doesn't happen. You're recording. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Get them all cinched in. Boy, whoa, I feel like I'm getting on a bowl yeah, here. that's a full service. Kind of like Andretti's. There you go. Just a little dirtier. Well, I'm learning when you come out here, you just get strapped you, in and take care you of you. the gas. And, and always bring a change of It's all there. good. Kind of I, I brought plenty right. of underwear. Foot on the brake. All right. Uh, Slam that forward for drive. Pull it all the way back for reverse. Middle's neutral. Good luck. Slam it forward for Slam drive. All right. Have fun. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh man, this is awesome.
that just made my entire life. <laughs> I, I had childhood memories just coming back. It's fantastic. Everybody should do that once in their lives. Heading into the pawn shop, y'all. Now well, Matt and uh, Rob are already inside and we're picking out guns to make this video. Uh, they gotta be under 200 bucks. So uh, I also found something really cool that I'm gonna get. Check this out, y'all. Look at this. The Bantam, the old school. Ma'am, can I get the uh, this Bantam? It's a classic. And when I was doing this, it's because it's actually how I'm probably going to shoot these things. Do it every time. Every time? Yep, every time. Let's so, go. So you need the pawn shop. Thank you all. Thank you. See ya. Woo, baby. You know me. I love Texas. It's time to make a video. Now, this is going to be on Demo's channel, shooting all these. I'm going to have a little footage, but uh, this is going to be his main piece. But basically, we're going to see uh, how three different guns under $200 from a pawn shop pan out on a challenge. There it is. It's time to put some lube on this cannon, y'all. Literally 100 bucks. And I actually think if this thing's not destroyed by the end of this video, it's just going to be my, my truck gun. I have multiple truck guns, actually, now that I think about it. What, what do they used to call them things? Uh, stagecoach gun? State, yeah. Yes, this is gonna be my stagecoach gun for uh, for the truck. This thing has been shot a lot. Yeah, it's been well used. That's why we gotta lube it right now. I always bring some, some wipes with me. Yeah, we gotta wipe, you know? This is so fun. Get your wipes. Oh my gosh, that's still on. Let's not show that. So Rob, will you do me a favor and get some wipes going on this guy? Yeah. Have you ever wiped your butt with those in I've a dire never, situation? I've never, no. It's horrible. No? I'd Would you the other day when we were fishing and you really needed something, you cut your sleeve off, would you rather use that? I don't think a military man like yourself would, wouldn't mind a little rim oil on the there's back no, side. I don't think there's anybody that's going to shove rim oil. It's really taking it off, isn't it? I mean, there's a lot going on in there. A little bit of rust on there. It's bad. A little bit of rust. It's bad. It's a $100 pawn shop shotgun, but I tell you guys what, it felt great to go into a pawn shop again. I hadn't been in one in a long time. And just do a little shopping, see what's going on in there. The reel that I got, check this sucker out. A Bantam Corrado. Made in Japan. Back in the day. The, oh my goodness, no you did not. Oh, I thought you guys were cowboys. Your pawn showed out your full winter. Your full winter mode. Damn. He always, he's one up in everybody all the time. Pretty yeah, good like condition. You look like one of them city boys who wishes you were a cowboy. Bucks. They gave us a deal because demo was there. And I'm just impressed at all the things you can get. They had all kinds of tools, things I need, quite honestly. Stuff for my house. I don't have a lot, whole lot of tools. They had good deals on it. So I might start just doing that. Just showing you guys what I can go find at some pawn shops. Maybe find some old fishing equipment. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea. I don't want to do Walmart challenge. I want to do pawn shop challenge. Model 88, 12 gauge, Mossberg. Built to last decade or two. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a cowboy. They just made at a, a shopping mall. Calling coins, ask them what they wish for. I wish we could find Lewis. Oh man, that is just funny. Oh, I forgot there's a hat. <laughs> oh. That's pretty. Yeah. Through the barrel. <laughs> we got a little rebound there. Did you feel that? Oh yeah, I got a little rebound yeah, yeah. over here. There's a couple different tests that are being performed here. These are professional tests. Water tests, long range tests, and just shooting random things tests. You guys are gonna go check this out <clears throat> on Demo's channel. Do so. I'm not wearing my hat right now. I look like a Scooby-Doo. Six inches left, two feet low. I don't know where it went. Well, we're getting it all wrapped up here at the ranch. So much fun. Y'all, just literally dropping the shells. You know how it goes. The old shotgun I got. Freaking great $100 purchase. It's gonna be probably in the fam for a while. I love it. Mr. Lake Fork was just bet 
that he could not throw this can and hit that gun safe, and if he misses, he is going to have to pay one dollar. Yeah, that's it. But if he makes it, that dollar's all his. Okay. Oh, you almost missed it though. <laughs> almost, that was close. That's a dollar. <laughs> that was close. That's a dollar. <laughs> that's close. Give me a shotgun chill. What an incredible yeah. time. What a fun time. The camo I had so much fun the with this shotgun. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of grew on me. Even though I didn't shoot too well with it. I think this is this thing's about to get fired up or charging it up. This is the uh what is this? The Death Eater? The uh, uh yeah, the demon? It's called the Ultra Four truck. Ultra, yeah. I'm gonna end this video the way I started it, y'all. Riding a go-kart. I think I might actually race Danger Dave. I got a, I got a little little bit wobbly out there today. I tested the unit out hard. Rob is yeah, riding a electric truck. bike. The white truck. So that's not good. Watch this. He's about to. Not good, boys. There's a bump like right here. He's trying to vlog at the same time. That's a, great. That's really that's impressive. It's time to sign it off, y'all. Thank you for coming along today. And we got more. We got more action here at the ranch. I, lo I love it here. It's awesome. Who wouldn't? If you guys have never subscribed to Demo Ranch or his family channel, Off the Ranch, go and do it. Do yourself a favor just incredible goodness good human beings over there and you're just going to learn so much about life and just how to be a great human you can also go to rob's channel learn about another human species that we're still trying to figure out he's literally just walking around in the woods over there right now if y'all want to see more pawn shop action let me know in the comments i love it i dig it and just hit the like button for the hat because it's just it's just here to stay hope you're having a very blessed day wherever you are folks that thing just fired up and it gets my juices flowing we'll see you oh that sounds good